This is scrap aluminium on its way to be recycled. Until now, it's been very difficult to separate the different alloys with their specific mixtures of metals. In a new pilot plant, experts from Tomra, a large Norwegian-owned recycling company, are testing whether it's possible to recover high-quality aluminium alloys. Nowadays, if I have an old car from which I've recovered the aluminum, which is possible, there's still no way of recovering the specific alloy. That means all I can do is convert it into a somewhat lower quality aluminum. We call that downcycling. That means I lose the quality, and to generate the high quality aluminum again, I have to use new aluminum. But now we've developed a technology here that's capable of identifying alloys. The engineers use lasers to analyze and distinguish the clumps of metal on the conveyor belt. The science behind the sorting technique was developed by researchers in Aachen. They're refining the technique at the Fraunhofer Institute for Laser Technology. The requirements are very advanced. The pieces of metal have to be recognized, differentiated, chemically analyzed and sorted very, very rapidly. The pieces of scrap go by in a belt at a speed of three meters per second. That means the entire process has to happen in the space of less than a second. Each individual step has just a few milliseconds or tens of milliseconds. The analysis also has to take place within milliseconds. First, a 3D laser scanner determines the position and shape of the piece on the belt. A high-speed computer calculates the spot on the piece where the analysis is to take place. A second laser then vaporizes a tiny amount of metal at that spot. Based on the light emitted by the metal plasma, the system determines its precise chemical composition and then sends a signal on air jets that blow compressed air at the parts to sort them. In order to be economically viable, the plant has to analyze aluminium alloys at a rate of 2 to 4 tons per hour. In any case, it would mean huge benefits for the environment. In view of the ecological challenges we'll face in the future, this system is currently the first that can really keep aluminum in the cycle and carry out high-quality recycling. The economic and ecological benefits are plain to see. Recycling aluminium requires less than a tenth of the energy that would be needed to produce the same amount of new primary metal.